So a macular hole is a small defect, a small little gap space in the center part of your vision. The macula is the very center part of your retina. When you look at things, you perceive a gap space, you perceive a little missing gap when you look at a long word. Think of it like the bullseye on a dartboard and it's the very, very center. So it affects the very, very core, the very, very center part of your vision. And when we, when we see you in clinic, we look at it and then from that we decide what should we do about this macular hole and how long have you had it, what's its size. Ultimately we're deciding does it need surgery uh, or not. Usually when someone has a macular hole, and it's not an emergent surgery, but assuming the hole is large enough and it has clinical features that require surgery, the surgery is something that you should not be scared of. People come in and they have a lot of uh, trepidation and anxiety about surgery, and it's not like an appendectomy, it's not like open heart surgery, it's a very delicate surgery, but it should be painless, and the surgery involves this really. Uh, little tiny instruments, it's usually done under local anesthesia, so your eye can't move, and you don't feel anything, but you're very relaxed, and we give you a little relaxing medicine in your vein, like, like you would get in a colonoscopy, but ultimately you're awake and breathing on your own, so uh, there's no need for general anesthesia. We go with little tiny, tiny instruments, and the instruments over time have gotten much, much, much smaller, so the healing is very, very fast, and there's no pain. The instruments go out, they remove the jelly, because we have to remove the vitreous jelly to get back to the hole, and then when we're back there, we delicately peel one of the layers on the back of the hole to get it to close. Because ultimately what we want to do is, if your hole is big or small, you got to close that hole. And when you close the macular hole, hopefully your vision should improve. And that gap space that you saw will come together. We usually put a gas bubble. So we take out the vitreous jelly and we have to fill that with something and we fill it with a gas bubble. And that gas bubble might last several days or several weeks or several months, depending on the, on the clinical situation. The average, nationwide average for closing macular holes is 90% or so. So you take a macular hole, you operate on it, nine out of 10 people it's gonna close. And we actually looked at our surgical success rate and they're even better than that. We have the best technology, um, we have the right people, we have the A team and the OR. The success rate on closing macular holes and the improving your vision is high. Nothing to be anxious over and nothing to be afraid of.